Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you're creating indexes, you want to try and use field values that will identify each record in your database as uniquely as possible. And if you're a good database designer, there already will be a single field in your table that does this, your primary key field. However, you can create additional indexes on other fields to use in queries for faster query processing. To create an index, open up the table with the field that you would like to index in Table Design View. Then click the Indexes button in the Database Toolbar or select View and then Indexes from the menu bar to show the Indexes dialog box. Click into the next available row under the Index Name column and type in a name for your new index. To the right, click into the Field Name column and use the drop-down to select the field by which you wish to index. To the right of that, select whether the field should be sorted in ascending or descending order. In the Index Properties section at the bottom of the dialog box, you have three drop-down text boxes into which you can set the properties of the index currently selected in the design grid above. The first property is Primary, and it can accept either a yes or no value. Whatever index is the primary key of the table will show a yes to this property, while all the others will show a no to this property. There can only be one primary key field in a table. The next property, unique, asks if the value within the field will always be unique, like values in a primary key field are. Once again, you can select either yes or no as appropriate. So if, for example, you were having an employee database where the employee had a unique employee ID and that was the primary key and yet you were also doing many searches on the social security number and wish to index it the social security number could be unique but not primary. The next property is ignore nulls. You can set the ignore property to yes or no to either include or exclude null or empty values from the sorting. Nulls occur when there has been no data entry in the field for a record. So for example, if you skipped entering an address into a customer record, the address field could contain a null value. It is not equivalent to zero as zero is still a value. Null is more accurately described as being unknown. When you finish creating the index, you can close the index's dialog box and then just click the Save button in the database toolbar to save your structural modifications to the table. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.